In this video, we will review how to connect an IP camera and an IP speaker to your checked video control bridge. If you need information on navigating your checked dealer account, creating a customer site, or registering a bridge, please refer to our previous Getting Started videos. To begin, ensure you have the correct customer account selected and you are on the Site Details and Devices tab. Click the Add button at the top of your device list and select Add Camera. This will launch the Add Camera Wizard. In the first step, you will select the bridge to add cameras to and then select the video channel you plan to utilize. If the site has multiple video bridges connected, select the appropriate bridge from the list. In this example, we are using an 8-zone video control bridge. On bridge models that support physical sensors, you will notice that each video channel is associated to an input zone. When wiring sensors to the bridge, ensure that the camera and sensor are properly associated by selecting the correct video channel. Here, we will demonstrate adding a camera and using the Camera Edge Analytics as the alarm source. Select Channel 1. The bridge will now begin a local area network scan for ONVIF supported video devices. This discovery method is using ONVIF's device discovery protocol. If the camera you wish to add does not support ONVIF's discovery, then you can simply select Add Device Manually. Note your device will need to support ONVIF Profile S authentication for the mount to be successful. Once the device scan is complete, you will see a list of ONVIF video devices, including IP cameras and network video recorders. Select the desired camera from the list, enter the username and password of that camera, and authenticate. Click Next and you will see a snapshot from the camera. This is to ensure you have connected to the correct camera before the mount is started. If correct, select Next. Provide the camera with a channel name and zone number. The zone number is part of the data sent to your alarm monitoring center and is normally a three-digit number. In this example, we will use 101. It is important to note that each camera should use a unique zone number for accurate reporting. Select Next. On this alarm programming step, you will select the zone type and the alarm source. Each zone type has unique characteristics that determine when video alarms are created and what signals are sent to the alarm monitoring center. If you need more information on zone types, refer to our support website for more details. In this case, we will select Instant Zone, which means this camera will only create alarms when the site is armed and without any entry or exit delay. The alarm trigger source determines the detection method for alarms. For camera analytics, select the Analytic Event Trigger option, or for a hardwired sensor, select Digital Input. In this guide, we will use the Analytics Event Trigger as our alarm source. Select Next. We will not enable Cloud AI filtering in this overview. However, it is important to know that when dealing with false alarms from analytics or sensors, the Checked Cloud AI option is a second layer filter that will reduce your false alarm signals. Once we select Next, the camera mounting process will begin. This process will take a couple minutes to complete. Note this screen can be closed at any time without affecting the mounting process. Once complete, the camera will display online. You can review each step of the mounting process. If additional cameras need to be added, you can select Add Next Camera. Here, we will click Done and return to our device list in preparation to mount our speaker. You will see the online camera with your selected settings listed under the bridge. Now, we will add the IP speaker to this customer site. IP speakers are used for mass audible notifications at the installed location. Live audio, preloaded audio, and scheduled audio messages can all be sent to these site speakers. Click the Add button and click Add IP Speaker. As with adding cameras, ensure you have selected the desired bridge. Each bridge supports a matching number of video and audio channels. Select an available channel. The bridge will begin looking for supported IP speakers on the local area network. If your speaker is not displayed, use the Add Speaker Manually option. To add a discovered speaker, select the IP speaker from the list, provide a name and authentication details. 
Once authentication is complete, you can test the speaker. By selecting one of these stored audio files, we can test the message directly to this newly added speaker. Once the test is validated, select Add and the IP speaker will connect. When the device shows online in the device list, it has been added as a mass notification and audio broadcast device to the site. Keep in mind, like the camera process, it may take one to two minutes for a speaker to show online. This completes the process for adding cameras and speakers to a customer site. For additional support and information, select the support icon in the top right corner of your dealer portal or visit support.checked.com.